looks and feels like October outside. Gray and damp is the theme. And as we look outside right now at our weather camera at I-75 US 33 in Wapak, notice the rain dropped on the lenses here, so definitely corroborates that idea. Looking at conditions right now, only 49 degrees at the Allen County Airport. Officially, no rain's falling, but yes, there is a wind chill technically. 47 degrees is what it feels like outside right now with a west wind at right around 5 miles per hour. So definitely feeling quite cool in, in late October, early November-like. High temperature today, only 55. That is 13 degrees below normal. Low temperature this morning officially at the airport was 41. Some of us did drop into the upper 30s. In terms of rainfall today, we picked up about a trace. Might be able to squeeze out a couple hundredths of an inch or so, but overall nothing too heavy or, nor excessive. Now, current temperatures across the board, you can definitely see that it is cool out there. 49 in Paulding, 50 in Van Wert, 49 in Town Lima, 48 in Bell Fountain, 52 in Kenton, and then satellite and radar shows that scattering of showers across the area. Slightly better coverage is ongoing right now across Paulding, Van Wert, Northern Mercer, Auglaise, and Allen counties at the moment. And then we have a couple of lighter showers from Henry to Hancock to Wyandotte counties. And all this has really been associated with this large upper level low pressure that is spinning clockwise near Ottawa, Canada, driving moisture off the lakes. And believe it or not, there is actually heavy snow occurring on the south side of this low just to the north of the Great Lakes in Canada. But we're on the chilly and wet side of this low pressure. Now we're going to jump into the northern Pacific because this trough off the Aleutian Islands of Alaska will be our next weather system we'll be tracking later this week. So let's check everything out on SkyCast. Overall, tracking a couple of isolated showers throughout the remainder of the night. Can't rule out a sprinkle as we go into our Monday, but chances will generally be lower. And then overall, as we continue Monday afternoon through Tuesday, probably cloudy skies will be the theme. But as we zoom out, we can see our developing area low pressure over Kansas and the Great Plains will bring a warm front to our area Wednesday night and Thursday morning. That will bring round one of rain. After that, things get quite uncertain on just how far north the warm front will get. If it gets farther to the north, we may get a prolonged period of dry weather Thursday into Friday before our cold front arrives Friday night into Saturday with additional rain and possible storms around that. The next weekend looks quite cool and wet as that low pressure then departs off to the east. So as we look at overall our key highlights for the storm system, rounds of rain look likely beginning Wednesday night and beyond. It also turned breezy and windy as well with chance of storms possible as well as we get into Friday night. And as we look at your Monday morning, overall temperatures start on the upper 30s. Very patchy frost possible to start off the day. And then as we warm back up only into the middle to upper 50s to end Monday afternoon. Looking at seven day forecast, overall chilly Monday and Tuesday with temperatures starting out in the upper 30s. We begin to warm back up Wednesday and beyond, but becoming quite unsettled with that low pressure approaching with rounds of rain and wind, but adjustments to the forecast are possible. Sartage.